Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. For today's midweek mini, I wanted to talk about rest. Rest is so important and it's been something God's really been challenging me with lately. It can be so easy to become fatigued through everyday life. I remember a couple of years ago, I was finishing off my bachelor's degree and doing some extra study on the side and started to work musicals and had just done an eight day long stretch of musical work and that led straight into six weeks intensive study um, away. And I'd finished um, my shift at like two o'clock in the morning and had a flight booked for seven o'clock in the morning. So I had to be at the airport at like 5.30 and I didn't really sleep very well that night. I was so stressed about oh, I'm going away for six weeks. I've got to make sure I've got everything. And, and all these things are going on in the back of my mind that I didn't rest for almost the whole week leading up to it. And I got on the plane and I kind of didn't really want to sleep on the plane because I was excited about being on an airplane. And, and you know, all the things that, that happen when you're going away. And I got to the airport at the other end and went, okay, it's about a five kilometer walk to the Airbnb I was going to be staying at for the six weeks. And I decided to walk. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I slept a little bit on the plane, not much, but a little bit. I feel okay. I've just got my backpack. I'll walk five Ks. I've got all day to do it. So that's what I did. I started walking and I got to the first kilometer and I was like, yeah, this is okay. I can do that. Second kilometer, starting to feel a little bit tired. Didn't really think about the fact I hadn't prepared properly. I didn't have water or cold water anymore. And, you know, going past halfway, I really started to feel fatigued. My whole body was aching and screaming at me for walking. Why the heck did I make the decision to walk? Didn't you realize you hadn't had enough sleep earlier in, in the evening before? And, you know, I, I pushed through the walk, I prayed about it, I listened to music to distract myself, I made a couple of phone calls, but that five kilometer walk took me about twice as long as I'd expected it to. Once I finally got to the Airbnb, I slept, like for five hours, slept in the middle of the day, slept. And then I got up and I had dinner and then I went back and slept again for the whole night. I reckon in that 24 hour period from when I landed to when I woke up in the next morning, I'd slept about 15 hours. And you could tell that it was just because I was tired and I hadn't rested appropriately. And I guess the same way with our spiritual walk too. We can become so tired of of things, of people, of the situations that we can find ourselves in through normal life. And if we're not planning our rest properly, we can become exhausted. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, it says, Come to me all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Rest is something God knows about. He wants us to take rest. Jesus took rest. So it's not a sign of weakness or that you're struggling, that you want to take rest. Jesus, through the Gospels, we saw multiple times, step away from the people and even away from his disciples to rest in God. So today, I want to really encourage you to plan your rest. Take time to spend with God and let him provide your strength. Thanks, guys.